computer unit. And this side goes to the other side of the contact positioning sensor. So this is the power cable. You basically just push this away and make sure that these two aren't touching. Bear it in nice and deep. Then when you solder your wire, I haven't gotten the part yet, but once I do, I'm gonna have this soldered to this side. This was the side that the unit itself was originally on in here. Pull it out. If we look inside, oh, my uh, sensor just fell out. So this sensor was right here in the center, and typically what goes wrong with these is this little wire brush here. This is the one that makes contact with the actual positioning sensor itself. It's going to be this little film in here, I'm going to see if I can get it out. like in there. All right. And there it is. So is the sensor Touches this film strip here. Let's see if I can make this clear. And eventually wears out over here. So sliding back and forth, back and forth. There's no way really to take this out without breaking this piece. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to install a contactless magnetic sensor. Um, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's actually, it looks like an old school film right in there. You can pretty much see through where the contacts have pretty much rubbed out all of that, that sensor spot. This is the side that it actually rubs against. You can probably see better. So that's what goes wrong with your electronic throttle module and why is known as your ETM. I call it a throttle body, same difference. Um, in the year 1998, they moved from a old school carburetor style to the electronic censored style. So there's the butterfly in there. Before we install everything, we just need to make sure that everything's nice and clean on the cylinder around it. Throttle itself. Um, all of this comes like this one all filled in it took forever to get it out you just got to take your time cut it out little by little Let's see from the other side and then remember it's the second sensor if you have your cord facing this way you want to make sure you're getting the side with the five pieces Disconnect the second sensor. <laughs> 